Welcome, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, and other. What ladies? Uh, it is actually a hundred percent men um, that watch our videos. And no, we're not assuming your genders by saying that. We have the information, the data available at our fingertips. Uh, although I think it is probably just the people that signed in. So there might be some women they just haven't put their nice. gender on there, um, which nice. is what we're holding out hope for. <laughs> Uh, so you're here today to present your thesis. Yes, I. On this grenade problem, right? right? I have made an observation, and oh. then have um, accumulated a bunch of data that would support said observation, which has resulted in my hypothesis. Is not is that? I don't think that. Point is, Driller has a grenade problem. Uh, this little fella, just the, the swirly little driller thing, um, has an issue with uh, the HEs, the neurotoxins, and mainly the axe. Um, well, would it perhaps be more appropriate to say the axe generates a lot of problems for the other two? Well, we'll elaborate on this, but I, I, think, I think the issue is all three of them. All three of them have issues that result in this um, like, result. Um, but this video is brought to you by Barrel Vision, which is us. <laughs> we brought this video sponsored. to you. We sponsored ourselves, we put our own hours into our own videos, and we are ever so thankful that we did it. Um, so, give Barrel Vision some love. <laughs> but oh. yeah. So, you may be wondering. Plato platonic love, not romantic. No, Don't romantic. You are hundred percent men. We want romantic love. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is there a problem? All right. You may be saying, thinking, what? Since when? National the debt. Grenades. Grenades are fine. Uh, you, you know, they're 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 cool beans. Uh, I did a poll on the Reddit, which is one of the main sources of actually getting in touch with the community. I would say, probably other than like Twitter. And like the Discord, but I think even then, Reddit's probably still. It's also a cesspool of videos. One brain cell between them. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Harry, most of our audience is from Reddit. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, I love you guys. Yeah, we love you, Reddit uh, Deep Rock community, not Reddit as a whole. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I did a poll. Uh, I've got 4,100 uh, votes, which is absolutely fucking phenomenal. That is that is, that is a big-ass poll with a big-ass amount of data. And the results were... All of those people have to watch the video. Yeah. I mean, if it did, that would be amazing. But uh, oh 3,400 people use the impact taxes the most. Um, and I, I, the, the question wasn't, what's your favourite grenade? Which ones uh, you use the most? But I feel like grenades, it is likely right? that that is generally this is probably going to be about the same. Like I think people use the most what they prefer the most and like the most. It, uh, yeah, it's the same question. Yeah, or at least one of those questions is stored within the other. Yeah, um, but it, it resulted in a absolutely overwhelming amount of impact axes. Um, we have three hundred thirty-one HEs and three hundred and eighty neurotoxins. Which is like... Well, that's close to what I thought it was, between those two. I thought the neurotoxins were slightly... Not necessarily a high number, but I thought there was a bigger gap. I thought that there would have been a bigger gap going into it, but coming out of it, there were points where HEs were above neurotoxins. Um, <laughs> which I think says that something... That would be timeline. <laughs> it says something, but I think what it says is that anyone who is anyone is picking axes, and then it's just other people decide to randomly choose the other ones. Well, not randomly, but we'll get into that. Point is, 82.92% of the people in the poll, which is a sizable amount of the community, um, chose impact axes over, or, like, the others. That is a lot. Well, I, I don't know if sizable amount of the community is right, but it's a very big sample. Well, it's yeah. It's a it's, sample size. Yeah. I mean, you know, compared to, I don't know, I mean, what? There's probably, I think, 100,000 in the reddit alone right 178,000 active but like the the 
I, I would assume it, it was going to continue this way, right? Like, at no point in time was the shape that you're looking at not the case. <laughs> Impact axes no, were always exactly. giant, it's and the other two were always sample. behind, yeah. So, uh, give or take 80% of uh, people pick Impact axes, which is an issue, right? Some people, uh, especially in the comments, said that that isn't inherently an issue, that... Um, it's, it's not like a meta or like it's not one of those games where like you know everything has to be balanced like it, it, you, you can have a meta some things can just be stronger it's fine i think i think that's wrong if you want a game to be able you you can use anything you want in the game everything needs to be balanced right <laughs> like or everything needs to be viable in its own regard and clearly this is not the case <laughs> axes dominating the driller meta, if you want to put it that way, which makes it sound bad, but it's it's the case, right? Like if you play driller, I don't, more more I often don't than not, you were using even, the axes. This isn't even a difficulty issue because Hazard Five is always going to have its own meta, whether you like it or not. Yeah, because Hazard Five is so hard to balance around, and I don't think they necessarily tried to balance around it, which means people are always going to feel like what's best Hazard Five. But what this poll shows. It's, most of those people probably don't play Hazard 5 regularly. It, it shows that the problem lies perhaps in... Well, the problem <laughs> relies in what I'm about to say. Um, well, actually, no. I forgot about this. First, let's compare the other characters. I also did some more polls. They didn't go as well size-wise, but it's still a number that we can gauge a result from. Gunner. 440 votes uh it that seems rather balanced you know what i mean 120 140 170 that seems fair engineer i think gunner was the most balanced right uh, yeah it was engineer 400 votes you know giving three more uh 98 lure 139 plasma 160 proximity still fairly balanced um lure could do with a bit but you know whatever admittedly scout also seems to have an issue i discovered uh when doing this uh in the cryo grenades dominate um but even then if we go through the percentages gunner has like a 40 percent on his cluster so that's fairly balanced uh engineer has another 40 percent on his proximity mines that's pretty balanced you know give or take people's preferences scouts also has a, a broken but it's still nowhere near well it's near but it is not at the brokenness level that drillers is <laughs> it's still and i think our personal opinions sort of and i think well-founded opinions at least in my case sort of fight that fact i don't think the cryo is excessively better well the thing is the thing is what you what, what, the, what this is right is cryo is very good right don't like don't get me wrong it, it, it is exactly what you kind of want as a scout it, it, it like immediately incapacitates foes and makes them easier to kill which scout kind of needs um but i would argue the ifg also does do that just not as well which results in the ifg is still better percentage wise than the other two grenades before like driller like people are picking the ifg more like it, it is like it's viable just not preferable um and pheromone canisters, mm. they're they're dead in the water. Is is but, also. <laughs> but we but we do think they're pretty all right. Well, the thing is, they're just is, overshadowed. Thing but is, no. Buff. Yeah, they they were clearly not. That was not the case, Harry. They were actually worse. <laughs> That's why they buffed them. They they recognised that this was an issue. They were being underused, and they were kind of weak as hell. Mainly when they were using it for the crossbow, I imagine they were like, "Wait, pheromone sucks." Um, so they buffed them. So scouts grenades thing if we were to do it again in like a month time should be a bit better really yeah. it, it should look a bit more preferable and while admittedly cryo is still probably going to dominate it there's not much you can do about that cryo is an amazing thing <laughs> but that's that's a video for another time point is gunner engineer very balanced their grenades are about 30 i mean obviously not about 30 but like generally you know a 33.3 percent like pick rate over overall scout is broken but being fixed scout has a problem but uh, its weakest link is being addressed and i think the ifgs aren't 
as comparatively worse than the neurotoxins are to the axes. I th- I think I think Scout's issue might be a bit of a player issue in that if you were new to the game ish, you would use a cryo grenade, right? Because you're not going to effectively use the IFG. That's just that's just a fact of the matter. I don't think like if you, if you if you're new to the game, the cryo grenade is by far the best thing you can use. Um, but then it's still always the best thing you can use. But when once you become equipped with the character and get the upgrades and learn how to actually use the IFGs, the IFGs can probably are about as equally useful as the cryo grenades. But uh, it's just a bit harder to get to that point. And pheromones is nice, but it is just bad. Uh, before the buff, which I don't have, any, well, we haven't used it yet, but I assume they are at least better. Um, I, I do have some more, uh, things to say regarding that, but that's not what we're here for. No, is it? yeah, we will we will do that with. Uh, after doing this video, I think I'm going to work on it. The um, effect, effect like tier list, but not really tier list, but like effect analysis, like which effects Status are effects, better yeah. or worse than the others, and how could they be reasonably like at the same level but you need on. some more help from me on that one yeah that'll be probably welcome some of both of us a bit off, um, a bit biased. Oh, yeah, move on. Sorry. Um, so why are the axes dominating drillers pick rate couple reasons um first of all they're fun which is true in and of itself they are fun to use you know the axes just whoosh, dead um and and you know they're, they're, they're throwing axes they're called and all but also the other grenades aren't that fun to use, really. They're awkward. They're they're just kind of yes. that you don't really feel what they do. Like the the neurotoxin is kind of slow slow release, slow kill, and the HEs more often than not, I think people can agree, feel like you're throwing pebbles towards the cliff. It's, they, they don't yeah. give back the result you want them to. In the meantime, axes feel extremely responsive. Instant feedback. Are satisfying. Heavy amounts of damage. They're throwing axes. They're just, they're just fun, right? I, I summed it up with fun. The utility. Axes have unusually good utility. It doesn't make any sense, right? You can use these bad boys to deal with basically anything in the game. Like, if you're in the fungus bogs, those little fungusy orbs, dead. Like, it, it, just, it just covers everything for some reason, when it really shouldn't, but no one's arguing. Um, it can basically clear out anything that isn't terrain, pretty much, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Cryo. That without is using, without using them up. Yeah, as well. Yeah, uh, cryo. It, not just cryo, but it, it does work particularly well with cryo because it does kinetic damage. But also um, vampire. The point is, it works well with really good builds, <laughs> and it and it just like brings driller up to like an immortal level of killing potential. Um, kills. This is referring to uh, the fact that it it is a niche in driller's kit you don't have an instantaneous high damage potential with basically any of his equipment that is what the axe provides so even if you get to the Except point specific overclocks yeah yeah very specific overclocks which are also kind of annoying to use to be honest with you like you got like ice spear which is a, a bit of a, a bit of a pain um explosive reload which i wouldn't actually consider I suppose this really isn't very awkward. To well, no, yeah, but it also it's very high it also damage, it also it's isn't very instantaneous burst damage. No. I think that's the thing you've got to understand. It is literally at the press of the button you do like what I, I like two hundred and something damage right with an axe like immediately. I think it's roughly two hundred if you apply all of the damage instances. Yes, yeah. with the with the sabata you have to like. Uh, actually shoot it and then reload to get that damage that's not really what this is like this is a, a step above that with instantaneous well, I, I think it might be slight i mean uh, you're, you're not me you're not wrong but i think it's slightly quicker than you think it's when you press the reload button you i don't guess yeah but you still have to shoot them it's quick. right yeah <laughs> and yeah. pull out the gun so yeah <laughs> and and it's superior it is just kind of better than the other things it has more ammo does more damage it is just better <laughs> right um and we'll, we'll go because i on the poll people gave their responses they they said why they uh, pick the axes or sometimes the other grenades but we'll get to them um and there's like you know the the fun people they're just like it's just easy to use 
you know i didn't even realize there was other grenades it's just it's just they're just preferable um you you know they're just lovely uh and fun um then there's utility people people that acknowledge the fact that you can you, know, you can crack open ebro nuts with one hit and it doesn't consume the axe uh poisonous mushrooms uh lawnmower function they're just people just you know the fact you can just throw them at anything and it gets the job done really um i also learned from a comment that you can climb on them which i, I didn't know before which is pretty damn sick uh, yeah which like there is currently now what like two things in the game that you could actually like climb on um which is like the platforms and his axes <laughs> which is kind of kind of weird um i mean they're not in any way useful in that regard but they can be used as you're watching now um but yeah it's, it, it's, it just shot me um it shot you shocked me um, it shot you the cryo uh vampire builds overwhelming <laughs> you know what i mean like uh, well yes but i don't mean i don't think about impact axis and vampire the, the, when vampire for cryo builds to me is more about when you freeze a horde of grunts, you, you drill through them. That's the vampire content. But the fact that um, vampire applies to a grenade at all, yeah, uh, is pretty obscene. Um, and and it and you know it, a lot of people also pointed out that that it's just so good, um, especially with cryo as well with the kinetic damage. Um, if you don't use vampire, you're weird. A little bit, yeah. Um, and then is the fact that you know. Uh, four enemies that you need to dispatch with immediately you're not you don't actually have better equipment other than i guess the central charge but even then that's a bit risky um than an axe if if you're about to get like jumped by an oppressor in like a, a tunnel or something like that you throw axes you just start hail marrying axes until they're dead basically they, they they will kill the thing you want them to kill in a timely manner um and they just they're just what driller doesn't have otherwise really um an immediate high damage um so you live um but yeah uh, and then the final one is that it is just superior they are, they are just i i i don't even <laughs> i don't think i need to list the reasons everyone knows the reasons you're looking at a page completely That's, filled to the referring, brim with people talking superior, about it you're referring to all the points you just made and just the consensus the overwhelming consensus yeah. and, and and the it's, fact that the, no the other grenades are just inferior <laughs> like, like the, it is just a superior weapon in all regards and if you disagree with me you are wrong it's <laughs> like that you can like the other weapons but you need to come to the grenades. terms yeah it's grenades rather uh, you need to come to the terms with the fact that the axes are just better <laughs> they, they, and that if you use the other ones good on you right <laughs> like good on you they're not bad the man of the people but uh, i mean kind of they are but like they're not bad but the axes are just better um so that is why i think you know the axes are as overwhelmingly picked as they are um but if we were to just remove the axes from the story just like just just forget about them they're not in the game anymore um and i mentioned that and some people got a bit not, not mentioned it but like i did another poll uh, which you're gonna see here 610 votes and i mentioned that if they remove the axes from the game and some people were immediately like i'm gonna storm in there and get my axes back <laughs> like, so some people cannot live without them but if they did what would be the result a neurotoxin advantage of 610 votes, 388 neur neurotoxin, 222 um, HEs. That's uh, more like it. Which means the axes have a very sizable first, right? They're standing on a super tall platform, and then the neurotoxins, like, is the second, and um, HEs third. Um, and it's like a... I don't really know how this kind of math would be put to words, but neurotoxin's got like 63% of the votes and HE's got like 36% of the votes. So like a two thirds lead, I don't think that's how you'd put it. But point is, it is interesting that even if you were to get rid of the axes, neurotoxin still kind of overwhelms HE's to like a, a pretty nasty degree. Um, so, 
why is this at this point? Now you've got to think about the other grenades. Pros, cons. Uh, the pros of the neurotoxin seems to be that it works well with the uh, flamethrower, right? Um, and neurotoxin is a very good status effect. It is, uh, it's a very strong damage and it tends to kill Gifids if they get, like, get it on them. Uh, like grunts at least. Um, the con is that it's annoying to use. Like, it takes too long to, uh, come out and you can't see anything when it does come out. And some people aren't actually fond that it detonates when it, when it's set alight. Um, because then you kind of resulted in like, okay, so now my time of like having my grenade out has just been reduced. Like that's, that's not pleasant. I want the full use of it to be a thing. Um, but yeah, so there are pros. That's more about accidental, accidentally igniting it. I mean, not, I mean, yeah, there is obviously that, but there's not even that. There is the fact that like, if you want your grenade to do stuff, but you also need to kill Glyphids before they kill you, you have to get rid of your grenade, right? If you're using a flamethrower. Uh, like, well, like, you're in the, I don't know, like, uh, salvage operation, and, like, you you gassed up the area, and the Glyphids are hitting you, but they're not dying fast enough due to the neurotoxin, so you have to shoot, and that will detonate and hurt you and your teammates as well. Some people aren't fond of that. Um, but, yeah, there's just it's just a bit a way... And also... Neurotoxin isn't something you need as a driller. It's good at what it does with some issues, but you have plenty of area of effects, status effect dealing things as a driller. You don't need another one, <laughs> really. Um, so it, it falls behind the axe, right? Um, and then you come to the HEs. Uh, pros of the HEs, which I'll be honest... For a long while, nobody spoke up about the pros of the HEs until like probably like five hours after the the poll had um, like been up, and suddenly people started coming out of the woodworks. Um, apparently, it's good with the sludge pump because sludge pump keeps them contained and low, I guess. Um, and you throw the HE and that detonates them. I tried it myself. It doesn't feel needed. The sludge pump tends to kill things itself. Right, but uh, you know, I mean, you can always make that excuse for every other weapon in the game, or like grenade. Um, but uh, yeah, some people just like that it kind of you know detonates them. People like that it is a uh, smaller, uh, like uh, explosive. It's uh, than the satchel charge. It's just an easier, more contained one. Um, so you can also save your satchel charge to uh, use on. Uh, like mining or bigger enemies or stuff like that. Uh, the cons of the HEs is that they don't really help in any way. The, they don't really work particularly well with some guns. Even though they work alright with the goos, it's only because they coincidentally do. The, um, and some people don't like that, you know, they're awkward as hell to use, they take a while to detonate, they ricochet around, so they're never really going to blow up where you want them to, unless you have to think about it. Um, so, people are just, yeah, it, it, it doesn't make much sense to use the HEs. Um, the axes are better, and even the neurotoxins kind of better. Um, so you're using them really just for the sake of trying them out, and it might work, but other things will probably work better. Um, but thanks to all this, uh, in conclusion, axes are good, very good strongest probably up there and strongest grenades in the game uh neurotoxins all right they're fine <laughs> they're not what you need as a driller they're kind of awkward but they do their job and he's are lackluster they're boring they're annoying to use they're just they don't keep up as far as that kind of stuff goes yeah so in conclusion axe is good neurotoxins are right but it's not needed and HEs are awkward and boring, um, so they're not really used and shouldn't really be used. Um, Bit like you. Not nice. Um, this isn't the end of the video, but uh, this is the end of the uh, part where I use the Reddit to help. So I'm gonna I'm gonna thank the Reddit for their uh, contribute contribute. 
Yeah. Contribution. Contribution. That's the word. I would like to say... But not to their constitution. I would like to say that English is my second language, but that would be a lie. Um, and I'm just... I struggle sometimes. <laughs> the only language I know is deep prop. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think the, uh, the, the, the poll went as big as it is and is as kind of damning as it is, really. Uh, uh, and I'd like to thank the people that are currently watching. Um, just halfway through the video, um, but that is that is the end of like the diagnosis, basically. The, uh, the and the diagnosis is there's an issue. Oh, <laughs> there the, you you I'm have axitis where your axes are too good and the other grenades aren't that good. Um, but I'm a doctor, right? We look for cures. How to fix this? How could you alleviate this issue? Um, f first off, we'll, we'll start with uh, the worst to the... Not necessarily the best, but like the best results. Uh, first off, thing you could do, you could nerf the axes. You could. <laughs> you could do it. Don't. We'll explain later. Uh, buff, you could just simply increase the damage, increase the, the size... Axes. Not yet of, of the axes increase the size and neurotoxin uh, of HEs. You know, um, you could rework the neurotoxin HEs, make them work differently, more um, usable for driller, uh, more relevant. And then my my wild card is an overhaul of driller's uh, equipment, basically, <gasps> uh, which I won't elaborate until further on. Um, first things first. Nerfing the axes. Most dumb. That is the most... you got the badge of most dumb. You see these axes? You see? You think about nerfing them? Don't do it. Do not nerf the axes. Don't nerf the axes. Seriously, don't. Don't even think about it. Forget this was even an option. On a serious note, don't. <laughs> it won't fix the problem, and it will only just make the driller a worse class. It, it, like, it actually will just... It won't help. Because people aren't going to pick the other grenades because the axes get worse. It's just not going to happen. That's not the issue here. <laughs> like, On a side note, don't nerf the axes. Yeah. Uh, and people will blame me. So please don't nerf the axes. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'm not advocating for any n axe nerfage. Um, it is, it is on a, seriously a bad idea. It, will, it won't change anything. It will just make drillers worse. It, 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 people are still going to use the axes just as much, I think. Um, please don't. Just a little, little, please don't. Um, Good luck, everyone. Now, set the balance. on to some actual serious um, ways of fixing the game, unlike this terrible idea. Um, buffs. Uh, most safe. I think this is, this is just something that they could just do. You know what I mean? Uh, they just patch it on like they have the pheromones and they just get you know just buff the grenade uh, the um, neurotoxin HE uh, if the effect radius like increase the um, the radius of which they do their shiz um, the uh, damage damage increases always makes things better um, ammo I mean I think ammo as is is probably fine I don't think that's what I'd upgrade but you know that kind of thing uh, status effectiveness so you know how good the uh, neurotoxin applies its status effect how good well, that's interesting though, isn't the it? Because grenade applies its uh, fear I guess the radius neurotoxin of that neurotoxin itself well. doesn't need to be buffed no but I'm just you know I'm just throwing just buffs at a wall basically just I'm just oh. coolness and I don't mean like as like to chill the enemies I mean just make them cooler uh, give them like shades or something um you know, and deploy time. That is an actual serious thing. They mm. they could do with a deploy time bonus, um, like both of them probably. So they actually detonate where people want them to be, than not there. So um, yeah, I recommend that one of uh, actual buffs. But uh, I think even this 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 probably will slightly alleviate it, but it's not really going to do much. Like, like would you consider making HEs? cookable a buff or a rework rework um definitely i mean it changes changes the way you use it but uh yeah this is like a safe 
thing that will maybe make a couple more people use these grenades and the people that already use them happier. Um, but it, I don't think it will solve the issue. What's taken a good stab at it, though, is a rework. Uh, here are a bunch of people that actually gave their ideas of how to fix the issue. Um, uh, this is, I think, if they're going to do anything reasonable, reasonably, this is probably what they're going to do. Like, this, this would actually solve the issue and is a reasonable thing for them to do. Unlike the thing I'm going to ask them to do later, but we'll get to that. So... I think uh, neurotoxin, couple couple like things that they can do to make that better, um, make the cloud more clearer, really, like make it so people can see more. That was an issue people have with it. People can see in the smoke more, then I think the chances that people use it will go up. Uh, uh, we give it like a trail, maybe like when you, while you're throwing it to when it gets to its location, it's left like a a mist of fog of neurotoxin so it actually does Lovely. something before it detonates uh, it could leave like a substance on the floor that slows enemies in the fog um so they stay in there longer or um something like that uh, i think he's some guy was basically saying that they should add a kinetic effect to it and make it deal fire damage Basically, so it works really well with cryo, I guess, or like just other things generally. It will, it will actually work well with stuff. I think um, giving the HE's a fire component is actually not as bad an idea as it sounds. It definitely means they need to help the neurotoxin in some way complement the flamethrower better, but having a grenade that um, does fire damage for a driller would benefit both. Uh, both the slug pump and the cryo cannon, and you wouldn't have to bring that very specific EPC build. Yeah. Either. Like it, it's not a bad shout. Uh, it would definitely fix the HE as far as viability, but I feel like I feel like that's kind of cheap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like well, it's it kind of just like I oh, it can do everything. <laughs> I would want it to just do heat. But that's yeah. kind of what the wave cooker is. Yeah, I think I think he has enough ways of dealing fire damage, personally. Uh, so I'm not fond of this. But what I am fond of, impact. If they're going to rework either of them and like keep them or whatever, they should detonate on impact. That will make them so much better. So much better. The awkwardness of using them. And plus, like both of them, it's, it's fine, right? There is no impact grenade, right? That is, uh, is there, as far as I'm aware. The only thing that actually detonates on impact is the cryo grenade, right? And that's a cryo grenade. You can't really compare them. Um, well, in that sense, technically, the pheromones do as well. I suppose, yeah. Um, so it seems it seems like commonly things that apply a status effect should detonate on impact, right? I think the, actually the um, you know the uh, fire grenade as well probably also does it on impact. So the neurotoxin should release neurotoxin on impact. That seems only reasonable and i think the frag grenade if you wanted to do anything that would change people using it probably would be also impact um no i believe that making it, it i know it'd be more difficult but i do believe that making it cookable would be better than that maybe yeah yeah you could cookable you can make way, it into impact yeah um, but you could also use it against say macteras and you wouldn't have yeah. to hit them necessarily it, it might just go straight past them but if you cook it for the right amount of time it'll explode when they're just in the different vicinity, and I think it would be quite—it would actually be quite fun. Yeah. I think cooking it would add a fun factor to the HE. Yeah. Very, it wouldn't fix the whole. Problem, I think but it, it would add a very immediate fun factor. Yeah, I think they would still have to actually make it like useful once you've cocked it, but I think Better. cocking it yeah. would would definitely do something. You're, you're not wrong. So yeah, co make the uh, impact. No, the HE is cockable, and the neurotoxin should be on impact. And also a, a pitch that I thought about like while making this is. When it releases on impact, the fog immediately becomes like as big as it is currently and then grows like for like the next five or seven seconds or something. And then if you were to ignite it in like the final couple seconds, it would have a giant explosion instead of the one it currently has. I mean, it currently has a pretty good one, but yeah, make the fog bigger, I think is, is also pretty reasonable. And uh, if it gr slowly grows, then it will, it will reward you for being patient yeah, with it. Yeah, because if it... Well in my opinion, it doesn't need to slow things down. I mean, neurotoxin does actually have a small slowdown effect, the class effect itself. But you could actually... I think it's more interesting that the cloud itself grows and it's hard for enemies to escape. 
rather than it just slows them down. It's like yeah. they keep gro- they, they're trying to run away, but it keeps growing. <laughs> it keeps <laughs> consuming out. them, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, like as, if, if you wait patiently for it to like expand, then it rewards you when you set it alight with an absolutely massive explosion of fire and death, which I think would be also fun as hell. <laughs> um, so I, I think I think reworks would fix the issue technically, right? I think people, the axes uh, rates would go down if these weapons were more interesting to use and more just better, right? They do more damage, have a bigger radius, which would kind of happen with these nerfs, just be better to use would help the issue. Um, what would also help is my pitch. And uh, this is this is an overhaul. This is the spicy part of the video. It's got the badge of most mine because... Oh, right, the drill of overhaul. Yeah. Um, I... This is um, this is going to be a radical solution to the issue, uh, and it's also my personal solution. Um, Look forward to your letters. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the extreme plan. This is uh, this I th- I think would solve the issue technically. You w- it's actually ignoring the neurotoxin. I think it still needs a rework or buff the neurotoxin. But this is this is dealing with another issue that I have with uh, Driller. And so I will be talking down upon the following, uh, you know, chant shit about really in layman's terms. <laughs> uh, the satchels, the HE grenades, and therefore kind of driller as a whole, really. Um, so just j- if, if you if you uh, get angered by people saying things you don't like, you might want to stop watching uh, the, the fucking rework will solve the issue probably. And you know what the issue is. You've been informed enough for this video but if you want to see my uh, extreme ideas of what to do to fix it let's continue um the history let's first go into the history of uh the game a little bit did you know that uh, in the past the satchel there wasn't just one character that had a satchel charge but two characters that had a satchel charge yes i did uh okay um, did you know that, uh, or do you know who the other, uh, character was that had it? Yes. You, you gonna say it? It's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Harry may know this, but, uh, you may not. Um, everything. The, yeah, the Satchel Charge was actually originally Gunner and Driller's, uh, support tool, uh, until update 19, where they replaced it with, you know, Gunner's, uh, shield generator. Um, which is pretty cool, pretty cool trivia, you know. Um, Probably the best upgrade in the history of gaming. Yeah, the shield generator is broken as hell. Um, and then did you know that the HE grenades uh, actually isn't just drillers at one point in time, um, but also two other dwarfs uh, grenades? Did you know that? Yes, I did. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you know who the other two dwarfs were? Yeah, it's Engineer and Gunner. And okay. Scout had an IFG. Once you again, know Harry knows this. Uh, I, I did not. Um, Harry knows Harry. this, but you probably didn't. Which, uh, you know, they... We rehearsed this bit. <laughs> we did a little bit. We thought it would be funny. Um, Once, by accident. Yeah, I kind of just said this, and then Harry responded like that, and I'm like, oh. Um, actually, no, Harry was the one that told me about this stuff, in real fairness. Um uh, yeah, the frag grenades used to be used by Engineer and Gunner, as well as uh, Driller, um, and then it was changed in Update 24. What I'm saying by these things is, if you want to interpret it this way, both of these things are filler items. They're relics. <laughs> they are... Things, the past. They, they are not just old era. weapons, right? They're not just relics right because a lot of things are you know all of their first weapons are old but the point is that these ones were used multiple times as filler items before they came up with something better right why are they still around i guess because they just left it there they were like it's fine they, they're only one, one on each which is why i have a kind of chat is shit about driller why is driller left with the two filler items right come on come up with something new well i can't talk that much shit about the HE in this specific regard because I feel like a standard frag grenade 
it was it was slightly odd if it wasn't didn't exist, but the sticky Ooh, is not? so close. <laughs> and also I feel like the cooking is a quite a essential part of normal frag grenades. In fact, most game most games have cookable frag grenades. Yeah, so, so that was missing. It, it, it's just yeah, uh, you know, looking at the history, these things were filler items which have just been left on driller because I guess they realised that hey, we don't need to actually, you know, these can just be driller's items, which I think is kind of sad. I think they could probably come up with something better um, nowadays, um, which which gets me on to my next point. Uh, the other character's utility. Uh, you have engineers' turrets, uh, gunners. You know, added uh, shield generators, scouts, flare gun, and driller's satchel. The, uh, you know, the turrets, they're really good at killing, right? You make them to kill things, right? That's their utility. That's their goal. They, you know, kill things, defend you, get the job done, basically. Um, Gunner's shield, it helps protect your team, uh, which, you know, protects it. To kill enemies right but it keeps you guys from not dying basically which, which is his like sole objective uh flares the flare gun um lights the ceilings way better than you know actual flares could with your in your hands which helps the scout actually do his job of mining the ceiling items um all these things kind of do what they're supposed to expertly really i mean the, you know the uh with the turrets, the gunner, no, no, gunner, engineer can shoot like two guns at the same time, basically three even. Um, and you know the unkillableness of the shield is unrivaled. Um, and while the flare gun's not exactly amazing, I think if the scout didn't have it, scout would be worse off. I can't say that for the satchel charge because mm -hmm. it's useful for mining. Like it's supposed to clear out an area. So is is that its job? But it doesn't seem it, because you don't get many charges of it. So you can't do much mining with it. So is it useful for killing, like a horde of enemies? I mean, it does do that very well, you've got to admit. But, like, is that its job? Is it is it just to kill things and, and mine as well? Like, clearing an area, I guess you could, like, vaguely put it as. Like, it, it clears enemies, it clears dirt. It, you know, it does that job. Um, but you can do that anyway, right? Like, with everything. Uh, that driller has especially with his drills clearing through like mining through dirt and all that stuff that's his stick he does that he doesn't need this to do it for him uh, and you could say that he does it quicker than his drills but is it really i mean you have to throw it out and then make sure you're not too near near or you'll kill yourself like is it really a more convenient way of mining things than just using your drills i don't it, i i don't know why you would want this as his utility really which is, uh, you know, why I'm going to make this point. And by now, you can probably tell where I'm going by this. But the HE grenades... Yes, I can. We've discussed this before. <laughs> yes. Uh, the HE grenades are satchel charges. They just are. They, they, are, they are basically identical in virtually all regards. Um, except, you know, just a bit worse. But even then... Right, you look at the stats for the HEs, all right, um, 140 damage, 6 carried, 400 armor breaking, 100 fear factor, right? You look at now the satchel charges, base stats, these are, um, 375 damage, 2 ammo, 300 armor breaking, right? Damage wise, they are about identical, but in the end, in the end, right? If you throw all 6 um, grenades... Uh, all HE grenades, and then all like both of the satchel charges, you're doing about the same damage. I think HEs do a bit more. Um, the um, satchel charges also do a significant amount of armor breaking, slightly less for the uh, grenade HE grenade, but this is on its like initial stats, and it doesn't do a fear factor, admittedly, unless you want it to, then it can. The the, uh, the satchels do also do a fear factor, um, so. In the end, satchel charges and HEs are identical. <laughs> they literally they do the exact same things, and satchels do it better, basically. Or rather, uh, they should be identical. Yeah. Because they should be the same thing. Um, which, you know, uh, will, I'm saving it off for dramatic effect, but, you know, personally, if they do what I'm going to think they do, they should make it so the satchel charges stun, not fear. 
personally because sticky grenades apply fear right there's already a grenade that does fear concussion there's no grenade that stuns i don't think yeah there is is does the cluster stun grenade. yeah, yeah. that's not really what it is really though. i mean maybe then it might do something else point is there's a lot of options um and I have a, an item description here. Um, can be used to remo remove dirt or bugs or both. What does that That's describe? That's the item description for the HE grenade. Yeah, but you know that. But the point is, that describes both of them. And I would argue describes the satchel better because the HE does not remove dirt. <laughs> it just doesn't. Um, so, I'm just going to outright and no, say just... it. Uh, I, I want to replace the HE grenade with the satchel. Right. Yes, so do I. That is that is my objective with this video, to be honest with you. That I made the whole I brought up the whole grenade issue to then instill my personal agenda to eliminate the HE grenades. Because as much as I think the satchel and the HEs are filler items, the satchels are more than that now, right? Satchels are an iconic part of Driller's kit. So you can't just get rid of them for something better. But I would not say the same for HEs. HEs could go and nobody would care, right? Especially if you're replacing them with satchels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, think, I mean, some people obviously do not like that thought because they like axes and satchels. Thomas. Thomas has. <laughs> he, he, he very much dislikes that because he wants both, which is fair. But also, no. <laughs> it shouldn't. You don't need both. Get over yeah, it. you. Uh, he has plenty of AOE. The satchel charge does not provide the right utility. And think about it this way, right? Once again, ignoring the neurotoxin, uh, that's not part of this this part of the video, really. They just uh, buff it or fix it or whatever. Um, if you had to pick between the axes and satchel charges, that is far more of a choice than what you currently have with axes, HEs, and right. neurotoxin. Because you think about it, they both have very strong instances of damage, right? Axes are an immediate instance, but uh, satchel charges are far more damage but, and are just as instant when you decide to do it, but you have to set it up a bit. Um, so they're quite similar in that regard. If you want to do high amounts of instant damage, um, you then have the, the topic of whether you want AOE damage or direct damage, both of which do a very good amount of both, right? They are very strong. No, uh, that's true, but there's, an, there's a sense of ambiguity here, I think. Focusing on the HE satchel combination, it's a grenade now. What what form of the satchels are we looking at? You need to pick out a specific version. Right, well, I don't want to necessarily push an agenda that if people disagree with, then that they disagree with the whole thought as a whole. I think there is definitely a conversation to be had about what form the uh, satchel charge we can actually deal with as a grenade. I'm thinking bare minimum, like the actual default satchel form, right? Um, I think the everything it has there is reasonable but i think it should also deal with like a special effect which either be it stun or um uh, fear or something else um but i'm i'm mixed as to whether or not you know the the carve radius should be quite big uh or something like that uh, so i think i, I don't want to say anything in stone that people would disagree with because it's a bigger conversation than this currently but yeah um another thing if you put the satchel on there is the axes they you know they can clear uh all everything like really well on that so can the satchels right like as much as they're kind of weird and annoying to use to mine stuff you could you could easily use them to clear dirt if you don't feel like using them as a grenade because some people forget about grenades for driller so i think having them you know they also have the utility element that the axes provide in overloads uh, <laughs> they are also both loved and iconic as far as driller goes you think driller you think axes you think satchel charges i think it is an actual now also choice <laughs> you know think about how awesome satchels would, how much more awesome satchels would be if they well, if they work like grenades, with the way you throw it. Yeah, I mean, considering you know they are, you would probably. Far. I I don't I don't think I changed them much in that regard, but a little bit more. Yeah, I think 
the bare minimum, they have to be in a radius where if you're standing still, you couldn't kill yourself if you throw it out normally. Like, I think just amount, like, if you were to move forward while throwing them, I think you would kill yourself if you detonated it. But I think it needs to be at a reasonable distance. But even then, that is stuff that needs to be talked about between Ghost Ship Games and maybe the community, the, um, the nuances of that. I don't, I don't want to get caught up on that kind of stuff. Um, also, to cover the issue of usage, satchels are activated by a remote that yeah. replaces... It goes in in that slot. Yeah, it works exactly grenades how it would in the utility. Well, the grenades aren't a slot member. You don't. You can't just hold a grenade in your hand. If you're holding it in your hand, it means you're going to throw it. Well, it would be. It would be. Uh, hold down the button. It would to be. You. You would throw the grenade and then you'd press the button again to detonate. Exactly. That's exactly. What, yeah. Because you can't have more than one satchel at once anyway. Yeah. So it's also a bit more convenient that you can detonate it easier now. Uh, if you're like shooting, you can just be like bam, and then it's gone. Just press the button. Yeah. Um, and it's also, I would argue, probably more fun to use than the axes. I think it, it wins out in that regard, personally. The absolute horde-ending uh, power that it has behind it, I think, can rival yeah. an axe. Um, also, being able to throw the satchel like a grenade and then detonate it would essentially fulfil the cooking role that I envisaged for the HEs anyway. Yeah, it's be better. Much, it would be much easier to throw it towards a group of Macteria and detonate it. Yeah. Then the satchels are right now, or the HGs would be if you could cook. I them. think maybe, Harry, you know that mechanic that the um, plasma cutter, not plasma cutter, the plasma grenade. Plasma bursters. Yeah, the whole um, momentum element to them. Every that... grenade uses that. Oh, okay. Then uh, maybe, yeah. So if you, you know, you'd have to run and jump if you wanted to get burned. Point is, I don't want to get hooked up on that stuff. We can do a video on that, right? If this video goes well, we will do a video on that. Right, talking about what we think the grenade form of the central charge should be, but I don't want this to be full of that. Right, I want this to be an objective thing that the satchel charge is a better grenade choice than the HE. It, it would actually provide a solution to the axe problem because I think it would like half the amount of people that use the axes. And well, I, th I do think specifically the HEs. Satchels are half the reason that they don't get picked. Yeah, that too. HEs. Yeah, as long when as someone's thinking about using HEs, it's just like, oh, but. But I already have satchels. that, but better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have that, but bigger, stronger, and customizable. So, yeah, no, thank you. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I think, it, I think, I think you've got to admit that, and you would actually think about pick, picking between those two, unlike the axe and HE. Right, um, and it, it would be an interesting thing for them to do for Driller as a character, especially since it would then result in a gap, a utility that is now, support. yeah, a, a support tool that tool that is now missing its thing. Now I've already p pushed my opinion long enough. I don't want to push what I think should be here. Right, um, I will give you my ideas generally uh, and like some ideas, um, but I I don't want to spend another segment of the video talking about it so i'll just go over three ideas that me and harry kind of threw together um first idea a what is it papoose or like a, a sling <laughs> like a like a basically it carries heavy objects for you so then you can actually wield your weapons while carrying a heavy object i think for driller because i think you've got to bear in mind driller or carry two at the same time yeah, or carry two at the same time. But yeah. you've got to bear in mind that Drilla, he his objective, his goal is mining through dirt, mining the objects in the walls like a quarks or the the you know these the the uh, jadis and all that. And I mean, obviously his gun uses as well. But like his actual drill usage, his class uses is to get those things and do those things. So I feel like his utility should help him that. But I'm not fond of this. Um, but I think it's all right. I think I, I think it's it's one of them. Another thing that I think um, I think is my favourite one. Uh, oh, actually no, this I didn't realise this one was next. Is Harry's idea? Your idea, uh, Harry? You want to pitch it? No. Um. It's a. So. When we had these discussions before, I always used the word sling in referring to this, and you sort of like. Uh, understood it something different. I wouldn't say misunderstood because it turns out I was actually wrong in the word I was using. Well I was actually thinking of 
the a dog ball launcher. Yeah, I do have a, a, an, an image for that. No, I, ha I have a. Dogs. Yeah, I, I've got an image of that with an quark instead of a ball. No, oh, well, that's know, it's, basically you, exactly yeah. what it'd be. Except it'd be a little bit more in depth than that. And better looking, probably. <laughs> well, yeah, because the, more so the idea is that because when you look at the way that's proportioned, it's the, the launcher part or the, the the holder part is the size of a tennis ball. It needs to be a lot bigger than that, <laughs> obviously, because of the things you're going to be throwing. So this does rely, by the way, on living enemy rag effects being implemented, which I think is something I want so badly for so many different reasons that I don't mind having that caveat. Because I know I know it might be unrealistic, but this it's I have so many more uses for it other than this. So what you do with it? It would allow you to throw heavy objects with it like much further, which would sort of it partially fulfills the role of your papoose, um, because it just it, you can get those objects where they need to be much easier. But you could also throw enemies with it, grunt size enemies, and you wouldn't be able to be like you wouldn't be able to like scoop them up over and over again like multiple times per second. It would. You know, it it would have cooled down in the way that it would take effort for him to use it. And I think you would also be able to throw your friends with it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you just want like a, a, a trebuchet on the back of Drilla so he can launch heavy or like objects, uh dwar like dwarves and glyphids just far. Uh yeah, yeah. Which I think it, it you know, I think once again that it it helps towards him having heavy objects and also it has more of a killing use but i'm not fond of that idea if only because i've fallen in love with my damage. idea but um yeah i mean you know that's this kind of thing just we just you know i don't want to leave it with no ideas um but as much as drg is going to hate this idea my idea my, my passionate one now is a mini mule i think it would just work too well basically because it deals with like him having the biggest like character figures think about it these other two issues they require they so they make it so while you're carrying the heavy object you can like fight and this one is so you can sling the heavy object far away this one is just straight up if you if the mule is nowhere near you you can just deposit the heavy object where you stand right obviously it's not just all the time i was thinking about as many satchel charges like two to four if you heavily upgrade it and the number about 30 seconds it will just exist and you can just deposit it in because i feel like that would speed up gameplay so much that it's just unnecessary I think two to four by the way is a perfect number because and this is getting into sort of arbitrary law implications but savage ops there's always two to three mules yeah but and... on on the three when it's three mules there's an excess amount of legs and that's that's what I was thinking as well, which would be pretty funny. Because I was thinking, like, why why would they only last three seconds? Well, not three seconds, well, 30 seconds. And I was thinking maybe, like, every 10 seconds it loses a leg. And once it runs out of legs, it just collapses and breaks. And so, you know, it, it runs out. Um, but, yeah. And, like, Harry was thinking, you know, like, maybe there could be an upgrade for it that when it, like, breaks or when it ends, you can just detonate it or it just detonates. Something like that. So you even have a bit of satchel charge still there. Um, but I think yeah. I think that is just like, and also I'm kind of liking it because that is it's finally I think a reasonable way of adding mini mules. <laughs> I think I think that is that is fair enough because like it's not broken, right? I mean I get that you know it, it kind of breaks it, but since when was you waiting a minute for Molly to get to you because you're carrying a heavy thing? nice a pleasant time right and i think this would this would provide like um an actual way of resolu resolving that issue um of just being able to put down a mini mill deposit the heavy thing and you can move on i think that's so much nicer also i think you could then also use this as a oxygen for low oxygen which is abusive um it will be able to have oxygen if you put it down which i think will be nice mm, no it should no, because that's too specific, and the mini mules don't have oxygen tanks in them anyway. Yeah, but mule does. I th I think it should. I think because I don't think any like the low oxygen is abusive, right? <laughs> like if especially for a quark missions, 
where you have to like go off and retrieve heavy things and especially since drill is already good for a quark mission so i think that will boost him even more but once again i don't want to bog down on details point is i am a very big fan of a mini mule as his utility and the idea of putting a satchel charge into the grenade which is i think even a better idea would resolve in this being a possibility so uh, with the mini mule you would just put it down and it would just follow you around yeah follow you around for like 30 seconds yeah um but so if you deposit in, it goes straight to the deposit, yeah, team is, yeah. depository. Yeah, kind of doesn't make much sense. It Ooh. doesn't make sense because it implies that obviously Molly is like a Tarsis, but at the same time Molly also comes back. It's so you're basically saying that thing you put in the mini will just teleports <laughs> somewhere else. Well, yeah, look. I'm, I'm not saying that there's a heavy... Wait, maybe you have to pick it up after the 30 seconds, all right? Or something like that. So Just pick it's it up not... and pour it for Fee into Molly. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no, but I, I don't know. I, I think, once again, I don't want to get into the details, but I think the mini mill also, it makes sense of the game. We're not adding anything new. We're adding something that is pre-established and would make sense. And it's a utility that would like not revolutionize but it is on the level of like the shield generator where it provides something new useful and interesting for a character and related to the character um i do also really like the idea of a specific upgrade where it just like lets off a siren when you're depositing in it <laughs> fears stuff yeah or something like that yeah so i think if we want to harry we could actually try and develop a uh the utility thing for the mini meal if you want all these ideas but once again i don't want to get bogged down on that this is the end of the video uh thank you for watching um i know it went from being like a very factual point here is the issue to my personal wild ideas and theories but i hope you agree with the way i see things like uh, th i think that there is there is merit to be had um i think the satchel charge would be the best thing to happen to the HEs. Um, and I think there is good reasons for it. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, we will definitely, you know, as long as you're civil, respond. Or if you're not civil, we might still respond, but we might make fun of you. Uh, I don't think we have any uh, viewers called civil. <laughs> well, if your name's civil, please respond, and we will make fun of you. Um, <laughs> and we'll make you uncivil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, be nice or I'll cry. Um, subscribe and like. Um, that sounds weird. Like and subscribe. I did the opposite way around, apparently, for like some reason. Like and subscribe. Uh, please. Uh, and this video, once again, was brought to you by Barrel Vision, the best uh, Deep Rock channel other than the ones that are better than us. Right, yeah. Thank you, and lots of love. Goodbye. I hate you all. <laughs>